What's up guys, so today I'm going to be testing out different refresh rates in Rainbow Six Siege and I'm going to be telling you guys if I can tell the difference in between them and if it's worth it to pay the extra money for the higher refresh rate. So first of all we're going to start off by testing out 60Hz. Uh, this is what a normal display is going to be like just a normal computer monitor so let's test it out see how it feels bomb. all right so right off the bat 60 Hertz is giving me a headache it's feels super choppy before you guys roast me in the comments um, changing the refresh rate on my monitor really messed with my Nvidia recording settings so Playing on 60 hertz doesn't look as bad as this. This looks absolutely horrendous. Really, like, you can... Oh god, this is terrible. Feels like I'm playing on a PowerPoint presentation. I'll tell you guys right now, upgrading from a 60 hertz monitor. If you have a 60 hertz monitor, it's time to upgrade. I'm gonna get the wall. Really big fucking hole. Bro. That was like 50. So my play half wall. Yeah, this is terrible. I'm gonna need to switch that right away. I can't play another round on this. Alright, now we're gonna be setting it to 144 hertz. One forty four hertz is pretty much the standard by now. It's what pretty much every modern gaming Drone monitor has located a bomb. is. And right away this is a world of addition. This feels so much better. I don't feel the ghosting and the tearing. It feels like I'm playing on butter compared to sixty hertz. If you have a sixty hertz and you're thinking of upgrading to one forty four. 100% worth it. I can still tell a little bit, like I can see a little bit of tearing, but it's not near as noticeable as on uh, 60 hertz. Oryx bottom fireplace. Perfect shot. Nice kill. Sounds like another one, uh, top fireplace. Nice job. Dead. All right, finally, let's switch to the God refresh rate, 240 hertz. Now, a lot of people ask if you can tell the difference between 240 hertz and 144, and the answer is yes. You can 100% tell it. It feels a lot smoother, but it's not nearly as noticeable as from 60 to 144. 60 to 144 is like 10 times better, and then 144 to 240 is like maybe 40% better. So it's a lot more marginal. You can get 240 hertz monitors pretty cheap nowadays compared to what they were just like two years ago so if you can get one honestly i think it's worth the rest of it. it's ash what's your guys thoughts on a rooney i want to know let me know in the comments you think she's too good think she's just for 
or you think she's underpowered? I think she's pretty balanced. How does it not kill him? One friendly operator. Yeah. Remaining. In piano, actually. Punch your. Op four, last operator standing. That was lucky. I fat fingered my secondary. Just wall banged me. He left. He's in like the closet now. I hear On Z ping. You have located a bomb. I'll tell you if he uh, swings, you can get off the. He... I'm in mass. Yeah. You located a bomb. Okay, I'm ready. <coughs> Last one was on West Main. I'm gonna go play it. Been recovered. I'm out. Gotta reload. Still there. Alright, so in conclusion, the difference between 60 hertz and 144 hertz is massive. The difference between 144 and 240 is less so, but it's still there. I'd recommend you get a 240 if you can get it. Um, at least get a 144 hertz though. That's pretty much never go 60 hertz. It's it will hurt your eyes and make you play like doo doo. Okay, bye. Thank you guys for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed. Peace out.